Welcome back, Liz McDonald, Joel and Kent, Jerry Willis joining me now to talk about some of the other headlines of the day. We want to talk about the IRS ignoring 60 percent of taxpayer calls, according to Commissioner John Koskinen. Jerry, you have a report that says it's going to be the worst season for the IRS in 30 years. That's right. Nina Olson, the taxpayer advocate, said that earlier this season. And when she did, a lot of the pros in the field said, oh, that's ridiculous. That can't happen. But I have to tell you, they're not answering, as you say, 60 percent of the calls they get from taxpayers in the first place. People are really frustrated. Koskinen himself says they're giving crummy, his words, crummy taxpayer service this year. What's more, we've seen problems with Obamacare recipients as well. About half of them paid the wrong, are paying the wrong amount now, have to give the government more money. They're not getting those refunds. They are not happy people. The government sent out 800,000 tax forms that were incorrect to wow. Obamacare recipients. And, and this is because they basically say they don't have the resources. They yeah, don't, they yeah they were, they're a tax collector. They're not supposed to be an enforcer. And then Obamacare is on top of it. But the criticism about the IRS is, and even the IRS told Congress last year, and Jerry, I know you talked about this too, three quarters of the tax returns filed now are done electronically. So mm -hmm. their work is being done for the IRS in that sense. That's, that's and, a really and, good point, and the budget is up about 50% since over the last decade or so, where the number of tax returns filed has been flat to middling. So uh, in terms of growth. So, you know, the IRS can say they need more budget money, but mm. in Obamacare is a problem. But when you got Nina Olson saying that tax laws are designed to entrap you got to say to yourself, wow, is the IRS up to the job? I think they're all uh, thinking about all these uh, scandals, problems they've had over the last couple of years. You know, when you have big embarrassments, like what happened when the IRS went after these conservative groups, it's hard for anybody to get any work done. You yeah, know that's what I right. Mean? Yeah. right. And they have others as well. They're the paying people who are IRS employees' bonuses who did not pay their taxes. Yeah, that's yeah. the point. You're right. You're but right. the IRS is also arguing they could actually increase their revenue by $2 billion if they had the correct type of staff to support maybe some of the electronic or technical issues that they claim to be having. So it seems like there's also a need for a different type of IRS employee versus the traditional. Well, it's hard. They go to cocktail parties and say we work for waste management. I mean, nobody wants to hang around with an IRS person. <laughs> right. But, you know, but the thing is, you know, the thing is the audit rate, too, right? Jerry has stayed flat and has trending mm -hmm. down. That's yeah. what people care about is the people audit rate, right? People are not getting right? audited. Uh, Look, well, they've filing... become gun shy. They started uh, uh, <laughs> auditing all the conservatives. That's absolutely right. Well, yeah. I'm going to tell you this year, uh, y you've got to follow the letter of the law, even if they aren't auditing, because they can come back to you for seven years. Of so course. someday somebody might give them a budget increase. Ladies, thank you. That's <laughs> really phenomenal. Liz McDonald, Joel sure. and Cherry Willis. Don't miss the Willis Report tonight, 5 p.m. Eastern on the Fox Business Network. Tonight, kicking off your series, A User's Guide to Taxes. Jerry, we'll see you tonight. Great.